I'm Rochelle Bernazzoli, the Director of the Office of Undergraduate Research and Scholar Development here at Carnegie Mellon University. And we do a, a couple of really fun and important things in our office. We work with all undergraduate students who are interested in pursuing research. Uh, we do a lot of advising work um, and you know, sort of informational work with them. We go out to classes and orientation sessions and do a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with students, helping them to understand what research might look like for them as undergraduate students, how they can get started in research, find research mentors, um, even just figure out what their interests are. So that's one really uh, important and, and fun side of what we do in our office. And then on the other side, we work with both undergraduate and graduate students on a whole host of competitive fellowships and scholarships. And so things that many people might have heard of before, such as Fulbright grants or Rhodes scholarships or NSF a graduate research fellowship. So, you know, from beginning to end, recruiting people to apply for these things and sort of shepherding them through the processes, um, we, we do a lot of work with students um, in those awards as well. Let's see, I first heard about Elements when I contacted uh, the libraries, Keith Webster and, and Jason Glenn in particular, um, about how we might be able to find and leverage data about faculty career accomplishments, um, their educational backgrounds, parts of the world they might have experience in, uh, different sorts of awards and distinctions they may have earned over the course of their careers. And so um, we didn't really know much about Elements, um, maybe just had heard it in name a little bit. And then through our conversations with the libraries, realized what a powerful tool it is. Currently, um, we've just finished working with the wonderful team at the libraries on a, a data dashboard that's drawing from elements that will allow us to uh, search for faculty who have uh, certain characteristics in their um, scholarly backgrounds or experiences with certain countries or regions um, or have held certain kinds of positions, maybe in the policy world or something like that. Um, and so with this new dashboard tool that draws from elements, we're able to uh, seek out faculty with the right kinds of experience for the different kinds of scholarship and fellowship processes that we have to conduct on campus. So for example, if we know that we have someone who's applying for a Fulbright grant to do computer science research in Germany, um, we can now use elements as a great tool to seek out uh, faculty who have uh, disciplinary expertise and also country expertise uh, to be on a committee to help us you know, uh, guide that applicant to the strongest Fulbright application possible. Um, so that's, you know, one important way that it has really improved our process and the way that we're able to go about this important work and help even more Carnegie Mellon students and alumni go out and get these really exciting, uh, prestigious awards. Um, on the other side, because we help guide so many students through the process of defining their research interests and finding their way into research opportunities, Elements is also incredibly helpful for, um, you know, seeking out the right kinds of expertise on campus uh, where we can direct students to explore research possibilities. Um, on the one hand, you know, we could go to different departmental websites and look at faculty profiles that way, but Elements is actually a way more nimble and, and functional in the sense that if we know we have a student who's, for example, interested in something like dark matter, we can put that in as a keyword search into Elements and see what comes out of it. I think that this is such a powerful tool for all sorts of campus stakeholders, students, faculty, and staff alike. Um, it is a large organization. We're a Research One University. We have so much going on. Our faculty are doing really exciting work in nearly every field of study you can think of. Um, and they hold important positions both within the university and outside of it. Um, but it's really hard 
to sort of harness all of that information, um, Elements makes that possible. And so for anyone who has any reason to seek out any sort of expertise or experience of any kind, Elements really makes that possible. And I think, you know, as more people catch on and start to use it and leverage the, the really rich data within Elements, um, people will start to see uh, just how amazing all of the productivity at our university is.